We're back here with a guy who needs no introduction, Gary Gate, head coach of the Syracuse women's team. Uh, Gary, first off, you're, let's talk Gate Lacrosse. You're back uh, working with your brother Paul with, with Gate Lacrosse. It's got to be a lot of fun to be back in the same company. It really is. You know, it's it's been, had a long run with SDX, 30 years, uh, right out of college uh, till August, and. Uh, a few years ago, we thought about you know getting back together um, and creating some new innovative products, and it, it's been a blast to sit down and then just talk lacrosse and what happens if we do this, what happens when we do that. So it's been a real, real uh, blast to really get out there and dive into the product world again with uh, my brother Paul. And you guys having a good time here at LaxCon so far? <laughs> my voice is going, I'm talking to too many people, but uh, it, it's a great time. And I haven't been here in a long time. And it's nice to see old friends and, and old laxers that have played with and against, and great to be here. So let's talk Syracuse women's team. Uh, high expectations for you guys once again, but I feel like this year's team, maybe a little bit more so. How, how do you feel about this year's team? Well, it, it comes down to how they compete under pressure. You know, we have talent. A lot of teams have great talent, and, and the teams that come out on top are the ones that are going to come together, uh, overcome adversity, and really become a family and become a unit. So that's our goal. If we can develop that, uh, it'll give us a shot this year, I think, because uh, we certainly have the talent. Emily Horashuk has certainly made a, quite an impact her first couple of years. What have you seen from her as she develops now to the second half of her career? Uh, she's just uh, gained a lot of confidence. You know, uh, she came into her own last year, um, arguably one of the best attackers in the country, and, and you know, she's made it onto the U.S. national team as a college player, and and. She's just uh, been full of confidence. She's really worked on her leadership, uh, one of our, our senior captains. And, you know, uh, what she's learning is how to make other players around her better as well. So that's one of her focus uh, points for this year. And I think you're going to see her game really expand and improve. You, you mentioned the, her being part of the U.S. national team. That fall classic was like there were orange all over. You had some for, for Canada and, and, for, and for the U.S. roster. What was that weekend like? Uh, you know, it was a good weekend. It, always nice anytime we can get uh, Canada playing. You know, I oversee yeah. the women's national program. And, um, you know, it's, it, I, I wish we could play as much as the U.S. and practice and train. Um, but we just don't have that much lacrosse up in Canada for the women uh, where we can divide up and, and play other teams, you know, because uh, when we pick a team out there, we're picking the top, the best of, of uh, everybody in the country, and it doesn't leave us a, a lot of competition to play against. So it's always nice to come down and play the U.S. We usually uh, take it on the chin, <laughs> but um, we'll, we'll dial it in. We got tryouts coming out this summer again for the next World Cup, and uh, we're looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah, a couple, couple years before it's uh, back there in Towson, Maryland for the yep. the World Cup. Uh, I wonder, with, with Megan Carney in that freshman class was really talented, what, what was that influx of, of youth like for the, the roster and the team as you now, as they get some experience? You know, last year, you know, we only had one All-American. That was pretty disappointing. And we were super young. We had three freshmen starting. We had sophomores. Um, and that we're actually, you know, we, we, I think we returned nine out of the 11 starters. And um, we're really excited about the youth movement. And then we got some freshmen this year that are going to come in and make an impact. And, and the nice thing, Emily Harris chucks, you know, she's the leader. She's the... But when she moves on and those seniors move on, we're going to still be in great shape moving forward. And, and that's what's exciting about having young players come in every year. Asa Goldstock, how important is she if you guys want to make a run? Uh, Asa is incredibly important. You know, she needs to, to really be consistent this year. And, and that's something she's working on. Uh, you know, she's working on her mental side of the game to stay focused, stay in every game. Forget about the goals, focus on the next one, all that good stuff. But, but you know, what's big for us in the goal, goaltending side is we got our, our second goalie back this year. She redshirted last year. Hannah Van Middelen, she was a high school goalie of the year type player. And so we have two very strong goalies this year, which we didn't have last year. And we could have used it a couple times. <laughs> That's a big value to have. Somebody else, they, if something's going wrong, you plug her right back in there. Exactly. I know we went into North 
Northwestern and Asa had a tough first half and we didn't have that second goalie to put in. So this year that just gives us, uh, you know, some added confidence on the defensive end. Lastly, uh, because I know as part of that fall classic, you and the Canada women's team had a chance to play with those experimental Olympic rules. Yes. I I'm curious, what, how, how do you feel about that being a possible way the sport is played moving forward? I, I love it. You know, it's just a different version. You know, I, I, we've been talking about uh, figuring out the Olympic game for a while now, and we all use rugby as a great example and what they did with rugby sevens. Um, and I think, you know, what, what we have going, what we have on the table, you know, is our version of that rugby sevens. And I, I think it'll be fun to watch. Uh, I think it helps um, grow the game as well because smaller field, less players. We can now start playing it in uh, different venues around the world. And I think uh, the Canadian box influence probably gives you guys a little bit of an edge. Uh, um, it's just different. It's not a true box game, so right. it's definitely different. Um, but you know what? There's so many great players here in the U.S. I don't think there's any advantage. Everybody's so talented nowadays. Um, the game's come a long way, and, and uh, you know these young players are just uh, fantastic. Well, uh, Gary, we appreciate the time and enjoy the warmer weather here in Philadelphia than it's probably going to be in Syracuse oh, uh, when yeah. you guys open practice. That's why we play inside. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. Yeah.